from France um, to San Francisco in 2008, um, I joined this band, or I started this band called Backlit um, with a guy named David Romblum, who now lives in Montreal. Um, he was a piano player, we had a drummer, and we did kind of um, weird experimental music. Um, and so I have those CDs as well. <laughs> Also five dollars, um, and so I'm going to do a song off of. Uh, actually, it's not on here, but it's a song we used to do uh, as backlit uh, that sort of fit the theme, the theme for tonight. It's called Effigies. We'll see if you can my shaker at all.
fold catastrophe, cusp catastrophe, swallowtail catastrophe, butterfly catastrophe, hyperbolic catastrophe, elliptic catastrophe, and parabolic catastrophe. So how could you not write something based on those words? Anyways, here we go. Oh, and I was teaching English at an engineering school at the time, so that makes its way into this song as well.
There's nothing different between you two. We're all equal. Not true. I here, they not. You're both made of atoms that have been around since forever. And when you're gone, those atoms will be recycled again, like they've been doing for billions of years. She reached for her shoulder and dusted off the fleshy mantle. I ain't recycled, I fresh. Look it up, there's computers all around. Internet's for nerds. A boy at the computer turned around. He talking about communism. What communism? Meaning hate America. Like a terrorist? I'm neither. You say we equal, I type equality and communism came out. I checked it. Doesn't sound that absurd. It was a link to a, uh, I checked the screen. It was a link to a conservative super PAC. Communism is when people sit around, play video games, and get stoned. They think they're entitled to never paying taxes or doing physical labor or working at all. They think they should get to hang out for eternity. The super PAC provided a list of non communist affiliates. My name was among them. <laughs> On the train, men with ties, beards with bread. They came in just like the whites in Africa. It's the new apartheid. The Jews were given Palestine. But then they decided to discriminate and deny access, deny others access to the land they inherited. The Jews have been prosecuted the most. They deserve Israel. My dad had likened the situation to Native Americans. Europeans swarm, spread disease, exhausted resources, and killed or converted the indigenous to new ideologies. Later on, they felt bad for being so consumptive. They gave the remaining native descendants tiny chunks of land and said, build casinos, they're viable. Whites doubled down on their benevolence by advising natives to invest casino money in political ventures. Before the fall, dozens of despots around the world were backed by American politicians whose campaigns were funded by casinos. The super PAC who identified me as a communist was financed by one. In class, the super PAC website had a tag in the margin labeled history. Apparently, the liberal media, the purveyors of misinformation, were responsible for the systematic oppression of women. It was 1947, Roswell, New Mexico. This is when counselors first made contact with America. They told Truman that females, if not trained to be submissive, they'd overthrow the male-centric hege hegemony. Counselor advised Truman, a liberal, to make the color pink ubiquitous in the lives of little girls because neurologically it made them servile, while blue made boys more ambitious and industrious. Twelve minutes left. Face buried in the screen, back to the children. Girl three supposedly tossed an eraser at girl two. Girl one informed me of the situation. I told her I could level a charge of death without witnessing the crime. Her and girl two told me that girl three always got away with that kind of stuff. I stood staunchly behind my inaction. The fall. Six minutes left. The children were supposed to be cleaning the room. A lady, a lady came in to tell them about the end of the year trip to Disneyland. Their faces were incredulous. Then they started yelling. Then they were yelling and grabbing each other by the shoulders, swinging and running, not just in their classroom, in other rooms too, where other teachers wore the, sight, wore the same helpless face I donned. In my room, the kids were holding scissors improperly and thrusting them skyward, begirding a boy mounted atop a grouping of desks. He emptied out boxes, strewing game pieces on the floor, taking blades in Monopoly Green, and showering his excited cohorts with the dice paper dross. Amid the decline, Girl one and two cornered girl three. Chip nose, beaver ear, river hoe. Three began to cry. Girl one wrote, three is a crybaby on the whiteboard. Other students <laughs> echoed the refrain. Three cleared the room, palms sodden, cheeks red and vexed on the train. It had stopped a mile before the next station. We'd been idle for 30 minutes before the train started moving again. When we reached the station, the doors opened. A blinding light flooded the compartment. I opened my eyes. The train was empty. I walked onto the cement platform. In the distance, a good ten or so miles away, there was a massive orbicular object hovering above the ground. I headed for the revolving escalator. Wait! The little girl emerged from beneath her bench and walked onto the concourse. Counselor. The streets were barren. There was no visible damage to any buildings or vehicles. Things were pristine, polished. When we made it to the orb, we were greeted by a small mass of humans, fifty or sixty. From above, a voice resounded. You've been selected for rectification. You're responsible for repopulating and imposing a communist agenda on your constituents. Every thriving, sustainable governance in the universe runs on a communist platform. Faces had a glazed canvas sheen painted over them. Solace abandoned our preconceptions. The tacit credulity of silence was our only recourse. The cosmos is dependent on the ecological viability of planetary systems. Think of planets as arteries and the universe as a heart. Non-communist political infrastructures are wasteful and negligent. Their planets die, clog up, and cease to pump blood to the heart. Earth is corroding, fast. 
The entirety of the cosmos is in danger. The little girl broke from the crowd, stood within the cemented circumscription of the sphere's incandescent impression, and referenced her tablet. Earth will die with or without us. One day the sun will expand and eat Earth. Counselor sneered. That's conservative hokum. <laughs> the wind stirred, whisking the tablet from her hands, blurring the definition of its bounds. Aftermath. School was out. Girl one and two were sitting in the office. They shot me disdainful glares as I entered. Girl three's mom was there too. She got me fired. I saw her daughter in the passenger seat of their SUV on my way through the parking lot. She waved. Thank you. <laughs>